exerting great amounts of energy to keep from seeing our shadow, our dark selves, our wicked, evil selves, our angry selves that cause us to feel wicked, evil emotions, is it is actually playing a large role in our conscious life. When we face what we think is dark or negative about ourselves, I mean, really embrace it and see it for what it truly is. A beautiful broken place that's a call for love. Then we can emerge more whole. That's the only reason why you should even call yourself holistic. If you're striving for wholeness. We can marry the light and dark aspects of our beings. And in uniting with our twin sister from the depths. We can stop projecting her onto other women. And guess what's the craziest thing about this revelation right now is the masculines are the ones running around with the most like the masculines are the masculine energies on this planet don't even realize that the spell that was cast on them came from within them. Because the very alien, demonic, evil energy or, or, or you know, archetypal, the, 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 these stereotypes that you gave the feminine energy actually became a projection of yourself. I actually have an oracle in one of my, in my oracles, uh, Goddess of Love Oracles, that says, what a masculine energy does to the feminine, he actually does it to himself first. He already did it to himself. And because he hate the feminine aspect of his being, the mother, the maternal aspect of his existence in this world, he will forever look for a woman to target. Some men are going around doing this shit unconsciously. A lot of them are, have signed the side. They, they signed the contract to continually take more and more failed attempts to destroy the divine feminine. That's literally saying, I want to destroy the very portal from whence I came the womb. Huh? <sighs> We can marry the light and dark aspects of our being. And in uniting with our twin sister from the depths, we can stop projecting her onto other women. We can see and own the hot mess we often are and not get sabotaged by it. The light must cast a shadow. And the high priestess is the one who gets called to love them both. The soul voice meditation, beloved, is can I love my shadow as much as my light? And I'm telling you guys, the more I'm doing my shadow work, work, it is a profound yes. My soul says yes. Okay. The intention is I have nothing to hide. I see and accept all that I am. So we're going to go out with a song of the day, baby. Hey, we did that. We did that. Hey, 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 we did that. So what's going to be our song of the day? DJ, please pick up the phone. I'm on the request line. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So um, we, I think Ishtar is in here. I think Ishtar is in here. So when I when I when I while I'm trying to channel the song, let me see if Ishtar is in here. If I have lunch, I feel great, and all these these videos that's still on this phone is easily able to get it over there. I don't know why I was glitching and stuff. The song got cut off and everything like that. But it's strong messages that's still part of the series that's going now that definitely has to get out. So that's what I'll be doing when I'm done with this. Making sure I can get out what was good, what was salvageable. Because it just started tripping. Okay. Oh. I don't know why I started shuffling when I was just supposed to be looking. <laughs> so Ishtar is who we're looking for, guys. Ishtar. Okay, spirit. 
I feel like I have the goddess of magic Isis. Okay. I feel like, you know, and I feel like is Ishtar was Ishtar because uh, uh, what I have been studying is the the names of the goddesses, the many names of the goddesses. But I feel like Ishtar and Isis from my studies and stuff was like runner up or like I don't know if it was Ishtar. I think it was Isis and then Ishtar. So I'm gonna leave Isis out. <coughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, post nasal drip. Ishtar. I think she's in here, guys. Let me find her. I'm trying to get a song. The cosmic egg. The divine feminine. I hold the universe within me. I am the force of an of an, of an ever expanding love. Oh, that's the song. Okay. So, Spear want me to leave that one out. Look who came up next. Lilith. Here's the song of the day, guys. This is in honor of love. Love. Hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 